This is a HomeKit compatible smart plug that you connect to your smart home. This is a smart plug for any age with no technical know-how needed. Wait, that can't be right, but how? Let me show you. Hello, welcome back to a brand new video. Same shirt, different video. Depending on when these videos come out, I have no idea. I'm massively behind, but no one cares because these are two different, very different types. Good job. Very different types of smart plugs. One requires a little bit of extra know-how and a lot of extra money. And this takes no extra effort, no extra cost at all. And they both cost the same amount. A three pack of this costs about the same amount as this three pack. This is a HomeKit compatible. They do make a not HomeKit compatible one. I believe that's actually a little bit cheaper. I use an iPhone and other Apple stuff, so therefore it needs to be HomeKit, so I'm using this one. So how this works is you plug it into an outlet and you have this button, you can press and hold it to pair it with your hub, which can cost a varying amount depending on if you're using a HomePod mini, a HomePod, or an Apple TV all of which costs at least over $100 just in order to get this to work. This, however, costs the exact same amount as three of these and doesn't require any of those extras. So let me show you how this works. So in the box, we get three smart plugs. We get some fun paperwork that explains all the things and how it works and all that jazz. And in this bag, we have our remote. So how this works is you just take one of these and they are numbered and labeled as such. So this one is number three. This one is number one. On the remote, you have a one, two, and three. On one side, you basically have your on, and the other side, you have off, or you can hit all and do all of them at once. This remote is powered by, if I remember correctly, a 2032 watt battery. Now, you could just slide that out, but I wanted to show you. This could be the right kind of smart plug for the right kind of person, but is it right for you? Let me show you how it works, and then you can decide for yourself. I'm down here. This is what each of these look like when they are on. On the top plug, I have my Christmas lights. And over here, I have a wireless phone charger. It is currently off, but it does glow along the bottom. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but I'm gonna turn that on. You can see this kind of green light over here. And then it eventually my phone turns on to charge. So that's kind of what that looks like. And I have the remote and I will show you just how far this remote can reach. The, these plugs claim to be able to reach up to 100 feet. Now, any obstructions that are in the way can make a difference. And I'm gonna show you exactly that because if I go and stand <sighs> right in front of my fridge, that is about 12 feet away. So I'm going to go ahead and hit one on my remote. And that turns on the Christmas lights. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit number two. And then the lights blink and eventually you'll see my phone charge. So again, this is about 12 feet away, no problem. I have a fairly direct line of sight from where I'm at to where the plugs are. So I'm going to hit all on the off position. If I come over by my bedroom door, that's more like 20 feet away. Again, still have a fairly decent straight line of sight and I'm going to go ahead and hit all to turn them on and I can see that they are both on. So it does a pretty decent job. Now if I come to basically my desk and try to turn them all off, okay, 
they turn off. Now, I know I was hitting some obstructions here and there when I was testing this out earlier. It does a pretty decent job. I can't go anywhere near the 100 feet. It's not a perfect system, but it does a pretty decent job in what I've tested. I think I had tested this the other way around where I plugged it into this box fan and tried to go stand roughly where my other camera is pointing. And that's when I had a couple issues just because there's a lot in between where I'm currently standing and where my other camera is pointing at. So overall, it does a pretty good job. Again, it's not perfect just because it's not always a guarantee, but it does a pretty solid job. All right, so which smart plug is right for you? If you're someone my age and you own a Google Home, a Siri HomePod, or any other Apple HomeKit device, or a Alexa, then probably the Miraz smart plug is right for you or if you just have that technical know-how and want to be able to control everything from, from your phone. If you're part of the older generation who likes the idea of a smart home, but doesn't want to deal with the technical know-how or the cost of extra, then this Doin' Wills smart plug system is totally perfect for you. All in all, I'd say this is a pretty solid product for what it is. Really don't have any issues with it. The only issues I had are pretty much already explained in the product's description noting how you do need to have a line of sight in order for this to work. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.